I did it. Uh, I do think I so that MSM that he won. I believe he pulled he out a rob okay. for a couple for a couple games. This character is wild in Ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm about it. <laughs> like, is this really <laughs> it? Like, I'm not sure. They looked at the game and they were just like, "Who needs to be really <laughs> good?" Really like, good just some weird, unexpected. Yeah, well, you know, buffing Rob won't make people angry. All right, uh, this matchup. I wonder why he's picking Rob for this matchup specifically, though, because Meta Knight feels pretty good yeah. getting in very easily and keeping uh, keeping Snake in disadvantage with your multiple jumps and all your crazy hitboxes and good frame data. Uh, Rob, on the other hand, just feels out contested when it comes to projectiles. Yeah, uh, I could be wrong. You maybe, know? maybe it's the, the mere fact that he has projectiles. Maybe yeah. he's been practicing that zero to death. Right. And he's you know looking for potentially to get that against uh, Armando here. This is so hard, man. Too many people changing their tags. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Armando can't really approach there. Uh, thanks to the top. Ooh, air dodge is out before the hit. Something you can do there. If you think they're going to mash out too fast, you just up tilt, and at least it puts them in a disadvantageous position. Yeah, but it is, it is uh, as you mentioned before, it does seem like he's a little bit uh, uncontested in this matchup. Yeah, Snake's boom booms yeah. seem a little bit better than uh, Rob's zip zaps. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> wait. Oh. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, if you can force Snake off stage, uh, a lot of the time they want to recover really high. And Rob can get up there. Rob will take and that. Chase, chase yeah. with oh, up wait. We're about to see it. We're about to see yeah. it. So it's not a free recovery at all. Well, I mean, not that that was really free. Right, right, with, right. But most characters can't get that high. Exactly. Yeah, so maybe that'll work out. Uh, so far, I mean, can't blame the guy. They're both at 190. <laughs> uh, no one's died. There we go. Four tilt. I think that was four tilt. Yeah, it was. It's uh, going to take the stock. I, I never know what Rob's doing. It's hilarious. I love him. Ooh, but an up tilt up right tilt. back. That other tilt, man. In, uh, in 2019, we don't kill with Smash Tags anymore. It's funny. We just saw, like, such an aggressive set, right? Both of those players were really going at each other's throats. And now Tyrant is playing a totally different play style. Like, just on the fly, just like that. Which is Very even impressive. more impressive. Yeah. The fact that he can switch so actively between the two play styles. It's like, oh, you want to play the campy uh, projectile game? All right, let's do it. Let's play the campy projectile game. One of the things that makes him so good as a player is just how versatile he is. So. He's taking quite a bit of damage right now, but he's got control of the stage at the very least. Oh, Armando, he's sitting in uh, shield a little too long. Yeah. Snake uh, gets a lot, too, from those, from those grabs, especially yep. if he's already planted a C4. Dropped a couple grenades makes te tech chasing a whole lot easier for him. Armando kind of stuck in a corner right now. Tyrant trying to capitalize, but puts himself there in the end. Yeah, Armando doesn't really want to rush this. He's just going to, he's pretty content to throw grenades, but actually, out of all of Snake's options, it, it seems like the grenade is the thing that Rob can deal with the easiest, because he just throws a top. And if, he, if he's able to connect that top, he can just run through the grenades and not really worry about it. He doesn't have to throw out a bunch of hitboxes like other characters have to to try to commit to hit Snake. He can play a lot of neutral with uh, with just the top and the laser. Yeah, he's looking for this Nikita Ooh. now. I can't believe that hit. Tyrant, Tyrant was, was right there, man. I think I think it only hit because Tyrant was using like a multi-hit move. Like if he had a faster smash yeah. attack that just would have ended it, I don't think it would have worked. So yeah, so. Tyrant a little greedy there uh, with his approach, but it's all gonna work out. We're down to one stock. Halfway through the timer. Yeah, once again, uh, Rob really able to contest with that high recovery of snakes. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. My initial yeah, on-paper review he's was... Been, he's, uh, he's been he's a top player for a reason. Yeah, yeah. That's why he's over there and we're over here. I'll be over there, dude. No, no, I One agree. Day. I believe. One day. I believe. I'm glad, I'm glad you have that money. <laughs> I'm tired of the propaganda. <laughs> Ooh, nice parry from Armando. Gets him uh, a lot of stage control, able to pull out a grenade. Oh, he gets blown up by his own grenade. It actually doesn't work out. Do you know if Armando still plays Meta Knight? Yeah, he does. Okay. He plays Meta Knight and Falco, but definitely mostly, mostly the uh, Snake. All right, so this this might end up being a counter pick war. Uh, not sure. I'd, this game has gone pretty even to the point where I wouldn't blame either of them for sticking with this character if uh, either of them lose. 
Uh, it is the first game after all, so yeah. they're, they're learning on the fly here. Yeah, they got plenty of time. All right, the deep up bear chase. Goes for another one. Ooh. A third, still not going to connect. Oh. He's trying to go up there to contest Snake's recovery. Forward smash, the landing, and that is going to do it. Tyrant ekes out game one. He was kind of behind that entire time, but just, you know, took his time, played his game, and uh, found the openings he needed when it mattered the most. I really I really think that's huge, though, where uh, Rob is able to go up into yeah. the top blast zone to chase uh, and, uh, sorry, Snake as yeah. he's ciphering uh, to recover. Because even even though that didn't actually get the KO, it, it scared Armando exactly. enough into just like fast falling, like I gotta get to the ground as fast as possible no matter what it is. And he didn't put out an explosive, he didn't pull a grenade, and that was uh, what allowed Tyrant to just kind of cleanly forward smash him and, and get him out of the way. And the explosives are gonna be like pivotal for uh, Snake in his recovery when he does He's high recovery. He yeah. has to be dropping a grenade, right. using the the grenade to be reverse and uh, change change his momentum in the air. Oh my Ooh, God! Oh, Armada switched the box. Hello. That is not Falco. <laughs> or, or him. I believe the saying goes <laughs> that ain't Falco. And, and wow. This is yeah, that definitely ain't Falco because he wouldn't have made it back. <laughs> that dude would have been dead. Are, is, are you gone? Okay, recovers high. So uh, I like the switch actually. You know, despite the way the first 20 seconds went, um, Fox able to get in Rob's face, and then once he's there, you just never let him breathe. Uh, he's a big hurt box. You're able to pretty much combo anything into anything, uh, especially on Battlefield. You can combo your up airs all you want, oh but none of that God. matters if you can't touch the stage, and yeah. Tyrant just keeps you at the ledge and down smashes you. A poor side B is going to be a poor decision for our Mondo. Down smash. Oh my god, dude. Ooh, I am so surprised by how far that up B goes for Fox now. Yeah, it goes, uh, <laughs> it's very deceptive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, this is a great counter pick if you look at the matchup on paper, but I'm, I'm wondering how practiced this character is uh, from Armando's part because I, I have never even seen this character in even Ooh, other games. Ooh, so I like He it. is keeping it down to the wire now. Yeah. <laughs> we, we both like keep questioning their picks yeah, and they like, both right, do just fine. You know, I'll stop Maybe we should stop <laughs> giving our opinion on <laughs> matchups because we're clearly just not there we yet. Know, we don't know. We're not there yet. This game's new, man. It's hard. There's 74 characters yeah. in this game. I don't know who beats who yet. Absolutely. I mean, you can, you can think someone beats someone. You're like it's, three months down the line, it could be totally different. Honestly, for the most part so far, which is something I really love about this game, it's been player beating player. It really doesn't seem like the yeah. matchup dictates what yeah. happens a lot of the time. Absolutely. There are and exceptions to that, but for the most part, it really feels like you got outplayed. It was not someone just abusing one thing that hurts you in the matchup. Absolutely, and because of that, we're able to see uh, players counterpick two characters that they don't typically play that right. much, like Tyrant playing Rob and like Armando playing Fox and a great up smash out of shield. Punishing I, the ledge get up from Tyrant. I definitely think this is a game where you need more than one character. Yeah. It oh. is very rare where you're gonna see someone solo main a character and like win a tournament. Yeah. It's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's, it's already been done like twice, yeah. but uh, a <laughs> lot of people. I was gonna say if you're Pichu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pichu and, and MPD with Snake. I think he did the whole thing with Snake. Um, uh, but yeah. but I, I really think having multiple characters in this game is gonna be a huge advantage. All right, so we are down to the last stock here. Uh, still very close. Armando just slightly behind here. I just think the start really rattled him, maybe. Um, but he, he, he's been able to rally his way back. This is a really bad position. He's got to get off this ledge, got to find center, and he really needs to get up underneath Rob. Rob's only way down is Nair. So you can really kind of predict where the Nair is going to be or beat it out with an up air before the hitbox comes out. It's It has very little cooldown, but it actually takes a long time to start up. Yeah. One thing that does make it kind of tricky in this game is that, you know, the, the new shielding mechanic up there is going to take it. Oh my oh. god, dude. Tyrant up 2-0 over Armando. Fox is, Fox is so, so light in this game. Lighter than Kirby, I hear. That's crazy. Wait, I just saw Armando shake his fist. Yeah, what? it looked like he thought it was Yeah, I thought like, it was like, like a, I won. Nah, and I was like, wait, has he been robbed the whole time? <laughs> Have I been completely wrong? But the one thing, uh, as I was mentioning earlier about the neutral air is it can be tricky because of the new shielding mechanic where it's like it was a lot easier to power shield and you have that muscle memory right. from Smash 4. Right. Now now you have to time a parry, yeah. which requires like either really precise timing or already having your shield up. Yeah. 
in, in that sense, the, that move has gotten a buff. Right. At least for the beginning of the game. And Ooh. Hey, just as I talk about it. <laughs> Ooh, but he didn't get anything off it. He parried it <laughs> he and then had no time to do anything with it. <laughs> All right, man. Once again, Tyrant looking to make this a clean 3-0. Doesn't want to have another close game five last hit scenario where he's almost out of the tournament. Tyrant uh, picked three different colors this game, bro. He really did. <laughs> This man, uh, he's not bound to one color like us mere mortals, dude. Oh, <laughs> I like this color, Rob, actually. It's a, it's a nice it's color. A nice, it's a nice it's a, little, like, It's a nice, wholesome yeah. color. Ooh, I like the way that he dealt with that grenade there. Knew that the Nair would pick it up, and it was a pretty safe option. So he was able to drift away while holding the grenade and then apply extra pressure with the grenade afterwards. That was really cool. All right, up until coming out from Armando, a little bit more percent, and that'll start coming online as a kill option. Wait a second. Woo. Okay, no. <laughs> he might have actually been able to KO with down throw up yeah, there. Yeah, that's what uh, I was thinking. But probably just assumed the up throw was going to kill. I think it's a little weaker now, so. Down smash might do it. Yeah, that will do it. So, Tyrant well on his way to make this a 3-0 if Armando, Armando can't come up with an answer soon. Yeah, he's coming off that momentum from the last set, too. Very true. Yeah, he's, he's very warmed up. He played very five or five very intense games, uh, whereas Armando was kind of just watching those games. Yeah. Like, man, who am I going to play against? <laughs> and in that case, like expecting the MK or the yeah, Cloud. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, Trying to come up with a game plan Rob. for all this, and then the freaking Rob comes out. It's like, well. Ooh, that grenade kind of saving Armando there from uh, a lot of damage. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you'll see Snake players like, Shielding by the grenade, expecting. Oh, excellent. Yeah. But expecting their opponent to kind of like come in and then they get hit by the bomb and you can immediately act out of the shield and get some I think, sort of follow up. I think one of the biggest advantages Tyrant has right now is that he spent years fighting Snake. Yeah. And a lot of people coming into this game don't actually have that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he is a different character. You know, he doesn't do the same stuff. It's not like a rinse and repeat of Brawl. But just having the knowledge. That, like that much knowledge about what a character used to do, and I don't know if AC uh, played him in Brawl, but like maybe habits carry not, over. Not a carbon copy, but very right. similar in a lot of aspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just being comfortable, like yeah. being comfortable with grenades, I think is the biggest yeah. thing. A lot of new players are just like, I don't know how to touch him. New players are like, what the hell is C4, right. dude? What, yeah, exactly. This makes no from? sense. <laughs> this guy doesn't look like he's a Smash character. <laughs> just a regular dude. That all, bombs. That always been kind of funny to me. Like, yeah. just a bunch of cartoon characters, and then Snake a guy <laughs> who actually murders people. Like, <laughs> in a Nintendo game. spends like eight games <laughs> murdering people, just like coming to a Nintendo game. Oh man! Oh, the <laughs> grenade saving him. Yeah, it's uh, twice in a row. Actually. Yeah, Tyrant not quite able to get the up air. Finds that one, takes a trade for it, so he's at kill percent. Uh, Armando has a chance to even this up without taking any damage at the ledge, but it's not going to work out. Yeah, Tyrant only one stock away from taking this clean 3-0. Yep. I believe this would put him in top 8. If this is two games of top 16, then I'm pretty sure this is to get into top 8. I could be wrong. We'll verify that in just a sec. Right now, Armando trying to make his way back to the stage. Oh, no. He's going to eat a combo for it, though. He had his jump, luckily, so he's able to go very high. But that's what you were talking about, Rob, getting all the way up there, also using the top platform of Battlefield to punish the uh, the high recovery. Yeah, it, it, in retrospect, I feel like maybe this, this stage pick wasn't the best. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, Rob is always he did, he notoriously. He did lose on this stage, too. Yeah. yeah. Rob has notoriously always dealt with platforms pretty well. Being able to shark under with the up smashes you just saw there is a huge deal. Is he gone? Yep. He's gone. Tyrant. Deleted. Clean 3-0. Sat down and won six games straight, right? Oh, no, no, no. The other, the other set was one. It was back and forth. All right. But still, six games in the past, like, half hour. He won five games in a row, actually, yeah. I think, because yeah. Rice, Rice was up two. Yep. Yeah. So not six, but still pretty close. So I believe Tyrant is in top eight. I think. Day, is that, that correct? Seems, that seems like that no? seems about right. Day's shaking his head at me. He thinks I am incorrect. I, I don't know if, if that's what he was shaking his head at, though. I don't know either. Either way, that was a fun set to watch. Yeah. A lot, of these, a lot of these matches could have 
been top eight matches yeah. in my eyes. Two very different sets yeah. with the same person playing yeah. just two super different play styles. Really cool to watch. Two different or three different characters technically.